Hi, my name is Nikolai Yusupov, and in this video, I would like to show you the type of data that you will obtain from the QCPR app. I already have my little any pair to this device, and I'm going to set two minutes as our code time. Um, I'm going to start CPR, and I'm going to do compressions and ventilations standing at the head, even though this is not optimal position uh, to be in to do this. I just want to get uh, the data uh, from this app. So I want to see uh, my chest compression fraction, my depth, and rate. So what we're going to do is we're going to place it here so you guys can see it. I'm going to click Start. All right, And we're going to go ahead and commence with our compressions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29, All right, so after two minutes, the app has stopped, and we see that um, we have 99%, right? Uh, and it tells us ensure uh, compression depth. I'm going to save, um, add names, say Nick, done. And I want to see my data, right? So let's see uh, end, right? And we're going to look at our saved results. So this was our data, and this is the information that I am able to see. So um, we did it for two minutes, so our total um, cardiac arrest time, our total cold time was two minutes. We did 30 to 2, and this is our CCF. So CCF was 69%. So if you look at the AHA criteria, right, for your megacode ACLS station, we need to be above 80% for uh, it to be successful station. So at 69%, we are below that. So the only way you could get to 80% is you need to do uh, compressions uh, with ventilations asynchronously. So one breath every six seconds while you are doing compressions uninterrupted. That's the only way you're going to get greater than 80%. Now, uh, it tells me uh, my uh, compression depth, right, was 56 millimeters tells me that we did 155 compressions, uh, it was 113 per minute, so it was right in the ballpark between uh, uh, 100 to 120. We gave 100% um, ventilations went in, and we gave 10%, uh, uh, sorry, 10 ventilations in total. So uh, the data that you can uh, get from this app after you finish your um, scenario, you could essentially get your chest compression fraction. So if you're running your mega code station, right, you're able to get the CCF. Now, be cognizant that um, if you are uh, doing this for ACLS and you're employing this setup and they're utilizing this test trainer 
in order to deliver ventilations, you're not going to get any registering ventilations there, right? So you will not be able to see that uh, here, right? So you see uh, our flow fraction was 69%, uh, chest compression fraction, um, and our ventilations here, right, uh, all went in. You will not be able to see that if you're using this test trainer at the top. So keep that in mind. And the very important thing that I want to say is that these uh, feedback devices, they're mandatory for both BLS and ACLS high quality CPR. And this actually went into effect January uh, 31st, 2019. And the HA has uh, implemented this stating that uh, it's a requirement, right, to employ uh, direct feedback device via mannequin. And the reason why this is important is that you are, cannot objectively evaluate the student uh, with all these parameters if you if you just visually look at the mannequin. You must have an uh, app like this. And once you have uh, your data, you could click on the specific points to see right the breakdowns. So it will tell you total time, right, compression per cycle, flow fraction, which is chest compression fraction, right? You will see your compression depth, 56 millimeters. You will see your average rate and the total compressions performed, right? And then the bottom portion will have your ventilations. So this is how you would employ this app uh, to objectively evaluate your students uh, whenever you are conducting uh, these stations.